It's the failure of the media to get Trump with their phony Russian collusion thing. That Russian collusion story is blowing up on them, and suddenly the FBI looks really, really bad. This is happening because the Russian collusion story is falling apart. Not only is the House Intelligence Committee uh, mopping up its investigation, everything is, t it is pointing to dishonesty at the top of the FBI and the DOJ, not in the working you know, not in the places where the guys do the actual work, but in the leadership that was put in place by Obama. Andrew McCabe's firing. Andrew McCabe wrote a piece. Remember, he was the deputy director, fired not by Donald Trump, fired because an internal investigation, the inspector general, DOJ inspector general's investigation turned up that he had lied under oath or lacked candor, they said, under oath about a story he leaked to the press. And that went to the FBI's internal affairs division and... He was, and Jeff Sessions fired Andrew McCabe. And that did not cost him his pension, as they kept reporting. That's not true, although it may cost him some money. He wrote a piece, McCabe wrote a piece saying, well, did he lie? No, he said, at worst, I was not clear in my responses. And because of what was going on around me, I may well have been confused and distracted. And for that, I take full responsibility. But that's just what Mike Flynn said. Remember, Mike Flynn, the national security advisor, was tossed out of office because the FBI accused him of lying. And the he is convinced. Uh, confessed to admitted guilt to lying to the FBI about conversations he had with Russian diplomats. And he said it was confusing. It was during the transition period. It was all legal. It was legal for him to do it. He was just convicted or pled guilty to lying about it. It's not that it was illegal to do it. He just didn't get the st his story right to the FBI. So McCabe is being treated much, much better than Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn was thrown out, had to leave the his post as national security advisor. His life has basically been ruined for nothing, as far as I can tell. He's been truly mistreated by the Mueller investigation. He was replaced by H.R. McMaster, who never, you know, was a good man, but he and Trump never saw eye to eye. Now he's gone, and John Bolton is taking his place. 